Hello, hello, and welcome to a uh, bonus stream of Coffee Craft. I am putting Games Revisited on hold for a couple weeks. I need some time to prep for the next season. And so today I'm doing a bonus stream of Coffee Craft over at the Guardian Farm. Uh, Roy Est is over here building up a, a facade uh, for uh, a large heart of the sea over the mini heart of the sea. And uh, I'm going to do some work underneath. Uh, I hope others will join along if they can. But th this is just going to be a kind of chill, low stress, relaxed type deal. And uh, let's make our way in to see what we have to work with first. Because I think I'm going to have to... Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to have to head back to to the storage center to grab a couple of supplies. Hi guys. Oh good. I did have uh, two barrels here ready to go and some cod to trade with these guys. Um, except I thought I thought they had a trade where they actually just bought cod. Although that's probably something oh 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 I'm gonna need uh I think I want more than two of these guys down here. So I'm probably going to need to go grab some uh, food and a couple of beds to help them uh, populate the shops down here. Because the, the whole idea is that this thing generates a ton of raw cod that is normally useless, except when you get a herd of those guys. Or is it a flock of those guys? What's the, uh, what, what's the collective noun for a... Is it a village of villagers? Is that the collective noun? A village? Uh, anyway. Yeah. So the idea is... I'll swap out this iron door for something else. I'll put... Uh, a facade in front of this and just move the iron door here. Maybe not. Something keeps powering that... Oh. Oh. This button keeps powering that trap door. Okay. I, I just, I want to maintain access to the redstone back here for the Guardian Farm. And I, I am still moder moderately uh, tickled about this. Uh, the Guardian Farm was something of my own design. Uh, <laughs> which I'm happy that it works, but I'm sure I vastly over-engineered this thing. And yeah, I, I was wondering if it was heard or... Uh, I don't know what the collective noun is. Um, I'll probably put just a small water feature right there, like the one on the other side, or maybe I'll connect it up. Actually, what is on the other side of that thing? A gaggle? Or is it, is it a gaggle or a giggle? A giggle of villagers? No. Um. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll knock that wall out. And then put another glass here and just put a couple of kelp in there. Um, do we need to put a window there? I don't know. I'll think about that. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to put something up here. And over this way, I want to have a bunch of trading stations for the villagers. That also means that uh, I need to... <laughs> I need to put a roof in this access over... A murder. No, no. It's a murder of wandering traders. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. <clears throat> I definitely need more of this stuff. Oh, I, I'm not I'm not looking forward to... Oh, no, that's the wrong button. I wanted... Uh, gray glazed terracotta. Now I got another random screenshot. I, I have a fair few of those from missing F3 and hitting the wrong button. Uh, I'm going to have to decide how big I want the trading a tribe. A eh, tribe might work better. Alright, I gotta, need to figure out how big I want the trading stalls to be. And I got to remember that I can't that this is my limit. So, Alright. Um, let's put a little pokey hole right there. 
Is that the collective noun for goats? I didn't think it was a tribe. Oh, haha, uh, I got the lantern right there. Alright, so starting... Was it at that lantern? Yes. So starting at that lantern is what I have to work with for space. Um, and then, I don't know. I'm going to kind of figure this one out as I go. Probably going to have to revamp the lighting back here as well. All right, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna do another water feature fixture thing here. Uh, you know, I might just pop glass, put a thing of sand right there, and then just some more of the prismarine. All right. I'm not gonna fight with that door. That's for sure. I can take those guys off there. for that job. Let's get our, uh... Is that gonna work there? No, that's not gonna work there. I don't know. I'll figure that out in a minute. One step at a time. <laughs> First time for everything. Alright, I need... couple of just random swap spaces. And focus. I, I, although it sounds like focus is brewing. So there... Oh! <laughs> okay. That's... Wait. Okay. I, I wasn't looking for that, but I'll take it. Okay, that's slightly encouraging. All right. Of course, here's the thing that irks me. All those mining trips, all those mining trips where I very intentionally went out to seek diamonds, I can't find them for nothing. Uh, where did my torch go? There it is. Okay. All, all those times that I go out a hunting diamonds and I cannot find hide nor hair of them. I go to clear out some random space for a villager thing. And... Oh! Look at the diamonds. Huh. Huh. Yeah, that's fine. Much appreciated. Caffeine delivery. You're welcome to join if you'd like. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I gotta figure out how big an area I want for these guys. How many of these guys I'm gonna need. And... I'm going to have to... Have a very, very interesting... Oh, all right. Going to have to have a very interesting time dealing with... Oh, all right. So I'm going to need quartz. That was my original goal. That... Distracted. I need... Was that gray or light gray? Gray. Gray glazed terracotta. I'm going to need some quartz pillars. I'm going to need some kelp, some glass, and as I know, I'll need sea lanterns, but I, I don't. I don't think I need to like go pillage storage for them. You know, I know it's just from here to the storage area, but with my memory being what it is. I'm going to need 
quartz. I'm going to need gray glazed terracotta. Hey, there's an Arcadius. New glass. And kelp. Oh, sand. Uh, yeah. And a partridge and a pear tree. Oh. <clears throat> now you know why I played the soundboard. I could bust in there and harvest some of the kelp too. Oh, oh, oh. And stuff for uh, making more villagers. I'd say the word, but I know that it's Jubba's favorite snack, and I don't want I don't I don't want to get the poor guy's hopes up. He 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 you know he understands words. Don't, don't you think otherwise. That puppy understands words. Come on. Fly! Still haven't figured out where the timing problems are in that, uh, blast chamber either. I, I need to, I need to see if somebody's got, like, a, a quick and easy diagnostic video for that thing. Or resolve myself to the fact that I, I may have to, uh, do a partial teardown and rebuild. And yes, I sound very sad about that because I'm very, very sad about that. All right. Black, gray. Please don't. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Good, good, good. We got a shulker box with a bunch Gray glazed terracotta. I'm gonna drop that in there. I'm gonna hang on to the buttons. I'm gonna hang on to the door. I got my gray glazed terracotta. I need quartz. I, I think uh, I think I'll pillage some quartz from the uh, chapel project. That might be next Friday that I try to finally put a roof on that and finish that up. It can happen. Don't look at me like that. It could happen. Alright, um... I'm gonna need pillars. I thought I had quartz pillars in here. So many random uh, iron doors too. All right. Oh, let me take a stack of sand because I'm not going to need that much sand. Uh, I know where I can get some quartz pillars. Oop. You know what? I know they got left behind because somebody rather filled up their inventory. <laughs> right, let's just say there's a story there and leave it at that. Um, so. As handy as concrete farms are, I, I don't know how many people realize they're not just for concrete. Oh. Mm -mm. Uh, somebody got tired of being snuck up upon by creepers. Alright, let me uh, drop that right there. 
Let me grab my fortune pick. And I'm going to fill this up with the rest of the quartz ore. <laughs> and you can also use uh, these concrete makers for pretty much anything you need to fortune. Hello, Beach Duck. So the intent is to is to get it set up so that way you place the concrete powder here, the water hardens it, and by placing it, it dispenses another one. And so you get a never-ending supply of concrete, but uh, you can also use this as a handy way to constantly replenish any block that you need to farm fairly massive quantities of. The nice thing about quartz, though, uh, because it generates XP, you don't have to worry about your gear breaking in the middle of it. So, it, it is uh, fortuning itself some XP, keeping itself repaired as we go about this. This won't take long. We Temperosia. Kind of wish I thought about this yesterday, though. Although, then again, yesterday I thought I. <laughs> no, forget yesterday. Today I thought I had a a stack or so of quartz pillars sitting in uh, the chapel project too, but I guess not. Unless I got pillaged for another project. I think somebody had gone in there for something they had asked to borrow. Alright, we're almost done. We're down at the last 40. exception of a couple of spots where for some reason the the stuff got uh pushed into weird places I, I can go ahead and toss my fortune pick all mended back up in there I'll go in there uh oh i need to double check see what uh got picked up over there there we go et voila I now have uh, all the quartz I need. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make the whole thing pillars, though. It bothers me a little less now how much quartz it takes to make a quartz block, only because the piglin trading makes sure that you uh, always have a little extra. some of the, the leftover ports in there. Alright. The quartz, I got the terracotta. Matter of fact, let me, let me go ahead and just... That odd stack is killing me here. There we go. That's a little neater in the inventory. So I got the quartz, I got the terracotta. I need, I need glass. I need to open up the correct box. The one just a smidge to the left there, good sir. It's going okay, Beach Duck. How are you doing today? <laughs> I, I, I just realized that I'm probably going to need more glass. And all the glass that I've been grabbing went to somebody else's project. But I think since everybody's going to benefit from that project, I'm not going to complain too loudly. Yeah, we'll see how far that goes. I need kelp. Still haven't built a kelp farm yet. That's something that I need to put on the agenda. Um, oh, and a certain thing for getting more villagers and beds. Because I can't get more villagers without a couple of beds. Why am I going that way? 
What I need is down here. How are you doing? Yeah, I, I think this is going to be just like the wool farm where it doesn't seem like it's producing enough until we, we have satisfied the main need and we give it a chance to accumulate. Kill. Uh, oh, I'm gonna need some water buckets. And or ice. Ice is nice. of water anyway. Just the same. I'm gonna grab a nap. Alright, and let's Kelp, sand, food, beds, beds. Uh, we don't, I don't think we have a stockpile of beds anywhere. Top of that off while I'm sitting here thinking about it. Do we? All this carpet. All right, you know, I'll just take a little bit of wool. Is a bat's head. Huh. Got some stuff to sort through on there too. Alright, alright, alright. Focus. Focus. Ish. Focus adjacent. Battles, boats, minecarts. If I were to store music discs. Oh. What does it say? Oh, flint and steel. I thought that said pointy steel, and I was like, no, the swords are down below. Random potions, more random potions. Alright. Let me just grab some dark oak then. Because I think that's what we got enough of that uh, I can go ahead and make, make beds as I need them. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of a kelp farm. Except I've been using it to generate bone meal. Um, where's, where's a redstone box? Where's a, uh, let's go grab one little, um, I mean, I could just give up and go work, oh, I'll grab some of that glass too, and come work on this, I could always come back here and work on this, nah, there we go. a little hopper of mine. And I think until we get a little bit more kelp, I'm going to go ahead and knock out that guy there. Put in that guy there. 
and then we'll uh, we'll just let the we'll let the kelp collect for a little bit until we get a get a restock, and then I'll set that back up to compost into bone meal. Anyway, that that was just a prototype. Um, I think like that's a lot of observers. That is nice and compact, and each one operates independently. The idea is that once that kelp grows that observer notices it and fires which powers this observer wait yeah pretty much like what you just saw there so he notices fires powering this observer uh What is that guy down there doing anyway? It's been so long. I don't remember how he works. I'm a little bothered by that. Ah, well, it was a prototype. I built it so long ago. I wasn't even using... Well, I was kind of sort of using somebody's plan. I was referencing a build that uh, Mumbo Jumbo had done. That really bothers me that I... I mm. Okay. Anyway. Back down here. Yes? What's that yes about? You know, you're welcome to join if you'd like to. I mean, I do have those guys to move around, but uh, despite that, it should be fun. I think I'll just put that there. I'll need... Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to grab... Oh, you know what? Ah. Okay. Just wanted to let you know that the offer is there. some of this off and clear up inventory space for just a minute. Don't forget to make sure everything's ready for uh, for tomorrow as well. Oh! Well, hello there! There appears to be a slime chunk over here. Gotta be in this chunk then. Because that's not a big enough area for one to spawn. Well. Hmm. I think I might have to make a slime farm up above this area here then. Yeah, because there's not enough space for him to go in here. Well, maybe. No. I walked in and he was down there, so it would have to be this chunk here. Mm. I mean, I, I when we built the slime farm, we noticed that there was a couple of slime chunks in this area. We found out the hard way. But I think what I'm going to need to do is set up... Uh... No, the angry fishies aren't slimy, but there are slimes that uh, like to join in around the angry fish. Now I, get, now I gotta remember. If the slimes would count against the same mob cap as the guardians. I can't remember if aquatic critters like the guardians have a different mob cap than the slimes. Because if... Different cap? Okay, good. Because that means that we could actually get a working slime farm in, uh, up above the villagers here. And uh, 
you know that way when you afk here you can get slime and all the stuff from the from the guardian farm right, i gotta turn that off oh okay i just noticed that optifine fixed that with uh one of the more recent versions the the water in the stairs up above looked really funky in uh one of the previous versions of optifine all right uh I guess the only thing that bothers me is this. We got this weird zigzag here. <laughs> so I guess we'll uh, we'll knock that back a little bit. There's very little that can't be solved by just knocking out another wall, or so I'm told. Most of that stuff was there anyway, so that way while I was building the aquarium and working on various things, that the redstone wouldn't get washed out. That uh, that would have been a deep, deep tragedy if uh, if that had happened. Yeah, so I guess it would just be a matter of digging out all the blocks between here and, uh, and the bottom of the Guardian Farm. And at least this chunk, and I, I think there's one or two, at least one or two others. But we got a, a maze of twisty caves that all look alike, and uh, it's very easy to get lost back there. It made a lot of sense when we were digging this place out, but it's one of those things that if you don't visit it for a while, you're not going to find your way around. All right. So how do I want to do this? I need I need a door to access that. No, oh, that was in the middle of this. Uh, where did the light go? The light went one, two, three, four, and then a light, and that only went over the glass. There's a. Uh, Oh, sorry. I was about to say, where did my sea lanterns go? You know, the sea lanterns that I said I didn't need to worry about having. Looks like I just crapped them up as I went. Yikes. Maybe it's a very, very good thing that I opted to take a break. So we got our light. One, two, three, four. And then a light. Light, one, two, three, four, and then a light. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Okay. I'll figure out how to decorate around that. I'm also not sure. I might have to swap out that for the terracotta. What? What's it look like on the other side? Is that? Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. That's right. Because I want I wanted it to look like that. Where? It, where okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. We can make it work. Maybe. Oh. How about the other thing that I needed? I needed. Prismarine. And Prismarine. <laughs> I need to go watch some more Corrales. Speaking of which, I need to see if we get some more Poofy Fish. Wait. What? Why, why do we have all these building materials in here anyway? those guys back there and 
Throw the extra slime in there. Throw those guys in there. All right. Let's see if we can get back to figuring this out. Oh, working. Oh, oh, gotcha. Okay. All right. Now I feel slightly less concerned about what what is going on. Okay. So that that stuff that fell in from uh, your other project. All right. You know, I don't need those for right now. I, if I need more than one stack of arrows, something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Um. I'll leave the extra stack in there. I'll leave the extra stack in there. Just to inventory space. I tell you what, I will be so happy when the, uh, whatchamacallit, the little bags arrive. That, uh, help you with some of the space issues. Up in here. in real quick. There we go. That's about its mirror on the other side. Uh, yes, I remember that update that you said made you sound a little wonky. I take it it's not working at all right now. Oh. Um. Okay. Oh. Remind me. So that way we can we can work on a couple of things with that. All right. Now as that grows up, it's going to convert everything above it into water sources. Just to double check. Okay, I am still. There we go. Right. Yeah. R remind me. Remind me tomorrow or after the after the stream. turn off the hostile noises because these guys screaming to their death is getting uh, a little more special than I wanted to <laughs> than I wanted to get into I should probably also get another eternal water source going over here where ooh, ooh that is the problem I want to make sure that I, d I don't set it up where they, they can actually you know what yeah I think that's what I'll use the, the ice for instead of, instead of, uh, I'll use the ice to just, uh, make a water source. There we go. Okay. Yeah, and it looks like there's another Windows update out too. Um, uh, <laughs> more, more fun in the security world on that count. Desperately do not want to work on these little strips right now, but I think I really, really need to. Also because I can't figure out what I'm going to do with this very narrow hallway. But I'm not sure where else I can put these guys. Because there's redstone behind this that I can't install them in. Uh, I mean, I guess... Actually... Instead of instead of hiding them back here, you know, before I get too far into this, I, I might just reserve that for slime farm space. And I could. I don't think there's any redstone behind there. I 
could knock out one of the one of these uh, little mini aquariums and put a doorway and dig out some space. Yeah. Let's uh, let's consider that option instead. There we go. Um, there's... I don't like having the jungle trapdoors there anyway. So let's do this. Let's grab this. Let's go. That's why that was on the other side. There we go. And we'll just, uh... Oh, that doesn't look right. Put a nice little stone ledge right over that wire. main idea is I just don't want water to wash out of here and wash over the redstone. Alright. I'll come back to this maybe. Because now I'm thinking I'm thinking about moving the villagers over this way. If I knock out this center pane, you know what, let's let's run around to the other side and just make sure that's clear before we go through any more extra work than we've already done. Probably I just run the stairs up this way too. Do the same thing. I was intended to take this area and slab it up. Uh, I also I think there was something on that other side that I wanted to get. I know I wanted to bucket up all this lava to put into a smelter to to consider just converting our uh, smelter system to <laughs> to be a lava based one all right so uh, oop, oop. come on oh uh, there we go all right so this would be where the water feature is. All right, we got a couple of lava, lava bits to worry about, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. work fine. Alright, yeah, we'll just knock out that wall that way. There's no redstone or anything going that way. This is where some of the caves we had dug out went. Should probably go collect all that gravel though. Just in case somebody decides to go on a concrete making binge. I both do and don't want to work with concrete next season too. I do because it's something that I've not worked with a lot of before. I don't because of all the work that is the reason why I haven't worked with it before. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Hi. Alright, yeah. I'll do something else with the space. I just... As much as I, I liked having it come, like, so you go from there into here... Uh, and then having your trading stalls over on this side, and then maybe, actually, maybe instead of uh, that, I would have knocked it out and put glass in its place. Uh, I just, I'd have this big bunch of wall that would be useless, and 
I'm not sure how I'd get the... I couldn't get the... I wouldn't be able to get the hallway centered right. Because I'd be bumping into the redstone there. Now let's do that. Let's, uh... Let's knock this guy out. And then push back. Alright, make sure I got the right pick. This gives me a little more kelp to work with anyway. Oh, I need... Oh, okay. I need some gray stained glass for some of this too. back this way. No way. And if I keep it, no, if I keep it too wide. Hmm. How wide do I want to make this entrance? Um, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Yeah, let's uh, let's go all out. Let's make this as big as the normal hallway. Why not? Can't be any more extra work than I've already set up for myself, right? Famous last words. Here we go. The, the, this, yeah, the, this is me going. Oh yeah, nothing. Small project. No problem, right? Right. Oh, uh, inside every small project is a big project just waiting to get free. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, that should still be fine. Okay. Yeah. that off. Um, well that's not going to give me any clues. Maybe I will just leave that like that and then I, I can sink those guys down a little bit further. Bring those guys up just a little bit further, right? Carefully. a lot more lanterns. Oh, for shame. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Whatever I do, I can mirror it top and bottom. Uh, let's get that out of the way. Let's get that ready to go. Do I keep this design, or do I go with something different since we're going into a trading hall? And maybe that's it. Maybe I'll just hollow this out until I get something uh, square or square adjacent. And then maybe make some dark prismarine trading halls? Mm -hmm. that, that could be interesting. Yeah, do up... Uh, okay. Three, four, five. Knock that back one more. Well, 
Well, that gives us a six by six interior. Let me let me go ahead and line this edge with lanterns. Kind of make this up as I go along. Unless there's uh, suggestions from the chat for a design that would uh, be in keeping with the way the rest of this has gone. Oh, I made up the last one as I went along too, and it it turned out modestly okay. This at least gives me some light to work with. That dark corner was making starting to make me twitch a little bit. Because you do need to, I, I do need to make sure that nothing like spawns in the dark and grabs me or whatever. All right, so that gives me a ring of light. Um, ah, uh, modestly. Nah, modestly. All right. Uh, ooh, are those quartz stairs or smooth quartz stairs? Those are regular quartz stairs. Okay. Good. Okay, that makes that a little bit easier. Uh, well, I would beg to differ on that count. Hmm. Of course, how many trading stalls am I going to get in here if I do something just this small? I'm not going to be able to get a lot. Although, uh, eh. I don't know. Depends on how much space I want to give them to. How nice do I feel like being? I mean, if I put a dude there. Right? I could do that. I could get a dude there. A dude there. But then he's tucked in the corner rather awkwardly. Uh, nah, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I don't, no. Nope. Okay, so we put a dude there. A dude there. We'll go... doesn't fit. Why does that not fit? Oh, okay. Uh, first things first, we'll get matching sides here. That's four, and then we'll go one, two, nope, nope. That's not going to be right either. Oh, I don't... Why does that not... Why does that not want to line up right? side or or does that take me into a second room with another four although honestly how many of these guys do we need because we're not I mean we're, we're gonna get a lot of raw cod but we're not gonna get like that a lot of raw cod I might just uh, I might just take the four of them just get four guys and then uh, and then a pretty little fixture off to the side. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we, you know, I mean, we are going to need these guys, but we're not going to need like that many of these guys. Um, going to need a quartz 
pillar there. Some quartz stairs. I'm gonna need some more glass. I'm gonna need some more sea lanterns. I grabbed all this stuff out of there. Okay. Weird. Let's grab a stack of those, and a stack of those. I know it's not going to make many sea lanterns, but uh, you give me enough to at least get this worked out. Glass sea lanterns. But we'll do just like we did the other way. Okay, because that's all there is. That's all there is there. Well, isn't that going to make some of that interesting? Alright, let's, uh, oh, let's grab our quartz. Our quartz pillar is going to need to go. Oh, mm, going to need to go there. Because that's going to be seen through the glass. Because the lantern is going to go. Lantern's gonna go right there, and then the ring of glass is gonna go around it. You like so? Oh, putting in that fixture on the suspended ceiling's gonna be a pain. All right, it's all right. We'll figure it out. One step at a time. Yeah, we shouldn't need more than four of those guys. And if it does turn out that we need four, we can turn that into a door and just keep repeating room, like do this into another room over there and just have rooms of four kind of branch out one more that way because by that point we should be clear of this redstone. Yeah, yeah, that works. That works. All right. Let's clear this part out. I'm marginally tempted to change one of those beacons over to haste, but that's how you end up breaking stuff you didn't intend to. I, I, I like... I need to do more with beacons. I haven't yet. Now that I think about it. Uh, so, what do I want to do? I want to kind of echo... I want to kind of echo this larger design here, but I'm not sure that since we don't have the, the gray terracotta around the edge, I don't think I want to do the chiseled quartz and then the quartz stairs for a small pool because I want a larger pool. So let me go grab eight chiseled quartz. Oh, I turned all that into stairs, didn't I? Chiseled, yeah, because that's chiseled quartz. So I'll take eight chiseled quartz and I'll drop that in there. And I'll grab my stairs. Go around this way. something I can grab bucket wise and fill that back up and there we 
go. Do that for the floor. Gives it a little more depth, although given how much deeper it is than the rest of the floor, that, that does make it hard to see. I'm almost tempted to raise the, the chisel quartz up to the level of the stairs, so you just get the stair in blue. Mm. Just for kicks. I'm already uh, hitting more than I meant to. Just for kicks. Let's uh, do that instead. So far, all, all the water, well, except for the ginormous pool in the middle, all the water's been fairly subtle. But yeah, yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. That looks good. That's a few too many. Just need to go up to where... Sea lanterns are. Mm. No, nope. I'm gonna need more quartz stairs. I need more quartz stairs. Let's, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, push comes to shove, I can always go trade with the, uh, the piglins for more quartz. Or trade with the villagers for more quartz. Although we've only got two of the stonemasons, I need to I need to get a, a setup of some sort for more of those guys. They come in handy way too much. Uh, is that nope? There we go. Okay, uh, this won't be as bad as I thought. Maybe. Oh. 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 Oh, come on. Alright, and I'm going to need my four chiseled quartz. out for just a minute. Because as I try to waterlog all the stairs, this means that the water will fall into those already waterlogged stairs and, uh, and I won't have to worry about, uh, about water getting all over the place. If I can do that. light though. Grab another half stack of that real quick. There we 
go. Yeah, that'll be fine. I mean, since we since we're encasing the floor in glass, put in that layered glass above everything. I don't have to worry about light levels for spawning purposes so much, especially since the only spawnable surface is this quartz pillar uh, running along the trim. And I need to run that along there. Glad I thought about that. Um, and because we got the lanterns there and there, it... it provides more than enough light along this pillar that we don't have to worry about uh, critters forming where we don't want them to. Alright, I'm going to need more than 16 quartz pillar though. Alright, let's... Eh, 26 might not be enough either, but again, I don't want to make more of the pillar than we need, because that does seem to... Uh, that does seem to get used a lot. that intersection because so far everywhere else that that intersection would normally be oh well okay so we just all right well if that's what we did there then there's no reason why that shouldn't be what we do over here okay never mind let's uh break that there Go back through here. Get our quartz trim on. And we'll just run. Oh, not like that. Not like that. It doesn't matter what I put in that corner. Because it's never going to be seen. But I kind of want to put something there purposeful. So that way if I'm ever digging and I come across it, I'll know exactly what's going on over there. Oops. Too much. There we go. So there's our trim for that. And do the same above. Ooh. Yeah, I'll do the same for above. Okay. I'll have to refigure out my uh, alcoves. facing that going that way and I'm gonna need more than seven quartz pillars for sure uh, what? what do I have sitting up here anyway more more stone and stuff to pick up no okay good some more quartz pillar then. Uh, let's make the last 10 quartz pillar and hope that's enough. It probably won't be, but we can hope. And 
drop that because I'm gonna put something in this corner here. Probably more. Probably more pillar. Um, no, because uh, the way the alcove is gonna be, you won't see what's tucked in that corner anyway. I don't know what I'm gonna do. running out of tasks to do before I get to that point, so I'm going to have to figure that out soon. One, two, three. No, I need to fix that. One pillar remaining. <laughs> Alright, so I was going to have a space, an alcove, an alcove. A space, an alcove, an alcove. <sighs> Slow your roll there. Okay. And then something on the wall there. It doesn't matter what goes in there, because that's going to be hidden. It doesn't matter what goes in there, because that's going to be hidden. Probably grab the uh, terracotta and do that design over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because that's a two by whatever design. I just need... Hello? Oh! Hi! Hi, friend. I see the flaw in using stairs there. Uh... You seriously get stuck in there? Alright, uh, it appears I need to do something about this area first. Let me, uh, you know what? Simplest thing in the world, All right? Let's just, uh, button this up. <laughs> Literally. Alright, what are the, what, what, what are, what's the over-under on me remembering that this is a slime chunk? when the time comes to uh, to do something with it. Oh, for serious. Okay. And that area is too small for them to spawn. Some of these guys might be spawning up over here. And I know there's some passageways up above here that they're probably spawning into. So at some point, I'm definitely going to have to figure out which chunks are spawn chunks and just dig. Massively dig. Uh, that, that sounds like a next week problem. Okay. What was I getting ready to do? I was getting ready to... Oh, that's right. I was getting ready to do something with the terracotta. Uh, let me put that there. Put that there. Let's, uh... Put some of that in that. Yikes. This is a, this is a hot mess already. Yep. Yep. We won't look too hard at that. Um... Is it my redstone components? Yes, there's my wrench. And we're gonna need, yeah, we're gonna need more than 36 terracotta. Uh, let's do that for now. See how far that gets me. Uh, dump 
some of that in there for now. Dump some of that in there for now. grab some of that for a minute just because I want to make sure that I leave an alcove in each of those areas and then I'll have to do something on this wall to break it up I'm not sure what yet but I'll have to do something on this wall to break it up uh, maybe I'll put another aquarium back there. Not like a full-on aquarium, but something like the the fixture that was there before before I dug this out. I think that's probably not a bad idea. Just make a two-wide fixture, just like these guys right here. Um, go top to bottom. Yeah, top to bottom. Although. Ah, okay, that'll work. So that's where the glass will be. And then I need the sand. And there'll be a light above there. I got this, the light, and then the sand. So we got this, the light, and the sand. Okay, okay, so... Oh, because this is offset from the wall. Do I want to push the wall back one block then? That would certainly make it... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to push the wall back one block. Uh, that makes this side slightly precarious. But that does keep everything a little bit more consistent. Uh, that means I might have to do something with that corner after all. Um, maybe some more chiseled. Yeah, some more chiseled. That'll work fine. I'll put a uh, chiseled quartz in each of the one, two. Four. I'll need four more chiseled quartz. That'll work. Let me do that now while I'm thinking of it. Four more chiseled quartz. what we got going in the corners there. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna bump this back one more. Oh, uh, that's gonna make uh, that's gonna make the alcove design rather interesting. That's gonna mm, uh, that's gonna make that kind of ticklish. It's probably still not going to matter. I'll get to that area in a minute. Wait, is that? Yeah, that was the same area that I was going to have to fill in. Uh, we'll just put the die right there. Hide the dirty quartz. <laughs> The uncared for quartz. Kind of like the idea that the diary is just dirty quartz. I mean, I, I guess technically it literally is because the crafting recipe for diorite is uh, cobblestone and quartz. So, I mean, if you ever felt the need to craft diorite, oh! craft diorite. It is literally just cobblestone quartz. No, no. Um, 
should go one there, one there, right? Put one on there and one there. Oh, that's right, because that was going to work. Do I, do I want to jam somebody in the corner there? I mean, they're not going to need that much space. So I jam one there, one there, one there. Means I could also go... One there, one there. that wall blank or just keep that guy in the corner and uh huh. on that one a little bit. What if I did that? Put one guy in there. So, I don't like having that open though. Nope. So I would definitely need to throw something in the middle there. Stone wrench doesn't appear to be working. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. No, that's gonna get me that angle. That's gonna keep me with the same angle. I do not want to have to sit. Oh, oh, that's dirty. Do not want to have to fight with these guys. I do not like it, Sam. I am. I would rather eat green eggs and ham. He says as it keeps going. I feel a great sense of pity for all those people who do this kind of stuff without the benefit of the rotation wrenches that we've been playing with. Because uh, I hate, I deeply, deeply hate the way anything with a design orientation requires you to contort yourself just so. Nope. I think I did something wrong there. Alright, let me uh let me work out the other direction. If I go like that, is that gonna okay. That means if I do that, that should get me that one. I do that. Nope. Oh, almost.
Nope. So close. Like that. No! Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, I'm wondering if this deserves a different design. Or do I just need to make a new wrench? Is, is that the problem? Let me, let, me, let me go grab some iron and gold. Let me, let me just see if that's the problem. Oh, I so hope that's the problem. That That's uh, the wrong... That's the old style wrench. And I need the new style wrench. Where, where's my uh, wallet of importance? I'm gonna need uh, three gold ingots. I need to stock up on my gold there, too. Just two of those guys, right? There's two wrenches. Um... No, that's right, I just need the one. Okay. Well, that's interesting. It, um, is that three MBT tags? No, three tags. Wrench and break a guard on a stick. Oh, okay. I guess all my old wrenches are broken. Let's, uh, you know what? Burn that broken wrench in a fire and go back to, uh, the good life of going. There we go. Oh, all is right with the world. Inside. Uh, something's always weird. There's a glazed terracotta. I mean, I, I really, really like the concept. And I love that there are people like Cub Fan who have done some absolutely stupidly amazing things with, uh, with, with the glazed terracotta designs. And not just not just Cub fan, but he he's probably one of the more uh, widely known or accessible ones that have done this uh, since joining Instagram. A couple of people have uh, posted some really neat stuff. Yeah, the the problem is the booth there is going to make that look really weird with the pattern on one side. Um, I almost wonder if instead of I should do a helps if you use the right tool. You like that. I'll have to figure out the the backside.
So I'll maybe put the two guys in there. something out there in a minute. That gives us... We'll rotate that there like a so. to patterns and my brain hurts. project and failing miserably. What am I going to do on that back wall then? I can do every other, but then it's just going to be offset. Um... it's the same on either side it'll turn out okay or at least okay adjacent yeah let's do that um, so let me grab let me grab some more sea lanterns so when you need enlightenment Grab sea lanterns. I don't think I'll need that many more. <laughs> sure. And if you believe that, I got some beachfront property in Nebraska to sell you. guys in little prismarine hmm. you know because we're short on iron oh yeah that's cutting out a little close Set the villager and uh, oh, um, yeah, okay, we can make that work. Uh, where am I gonna hide his barrel? I don't want to go back to having two of them in there. I mean, how many of these guys are we gonna need? Although, that feels like a question that was answered way back when we had none of these guys in there. I almost feel like I should put a little uh, water puddle for these fishermen to fish in. I still gotta make more, more little fishermen too. That, that sounds wrong. There we 
go. Okay. Okay. That's coming out all right. I think I, I think I could work with this. Especially since I got to be careful for uh, <laughs> for the water-filled builds that are over in uh surrounding area. You know, there's a part of me that wonders if uh these guys are affected by the um whatchamacallits, um, the hearts of the sea, if they get uh, conduit power from the conduits. Of course, if we did that, could we, if it won, no, we wouldn't be able to. No, we wouldn't be able to. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I mean, that was the end goal, was just to put four of them in there anyway, right? I mean, not so much the end goal, but that that's the way this, uh, the way this ended up turning out. Um... Alright, let me, let me go grab some, uh... Need a bed. I need... Put that away for the moment. I'll leave that there for now. Let me grab some wool and planks and I'll make one, two, three, four beds. And grab some of those. I don't. I don't think think they need to actually be able to get to them. Um, oh, there we go. Block those off so the little guys don't uh, get any ideas. I think I just need to do like that. Don't mind me while I sit here and watch. Hi. How you doing? No? Was it 16? Or was it 32? I can't remember. You gonna toss to your buddy there? No? find out about that in a second, won't we? Uh, actually, you know what? Oh, wait, no, no, because the kids, the, they'll, uh... But I don't think they'll be able to... Ah. Don't worry. I'll finish complete thoughts here in a second. Oh, that was 
very lucky. You, good sir, have no idea how lucky you are. Oh. Uh, is it warning me because there's enemies nearby? Is it because there's some slimes floating around here somewhere? I bet it is. Actually, that's probably what I need. Hi. There we go. More villagers, please. Alright, which one of you picked up the extra extra food? Alright, what do I gotta do to get one of you guys over here? Oh, that's right, because the little guy's just gonna sit there and jump all over the uh Less likely to, less likely to uh, to jump from the bed to the, you know. Uh, uh. There we go. Hi guys. All right. Hmm. All right. So how do I get the little guy? Over there to over there. I got the carts. Uh, I think somebody left rails. Yeah. Okay. I think they left a, a cart with rails and dirt and stuff. Yep. So I can grab these guys. These guys, these guys, and any ejector rails? No. Okay. Oh, that's probably gonna have to go back to storage, and I'll leave the rest as is. Nope, that's the wrong one. There we go. That's the one I want. storage. I'm going to need lumber. I'm going to need... I feel like I'm forgetting something. I need barrels. At least two. Alright. That's where I said that Minecraft was not booting up for her. That was a little odd, oddly laggy. What's that noise? Oh, it was a drown dying to the uh, the the conduit power. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually been close enough to them dying from that to uh, to make that happen. 
I'm also kind of surprised Reyes hasn't come through and changed out all these guys for the, uh, the, the soul fire lanterns. I mean, I know it's got the, the orangey jungle wood look and feel to everything, but I mean, they're soul fire lanterns. And this is Reyes. We, we, we both know how those two work together. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to tuck. I think I'm going to put two two guys into each, and I'll tuck a barrel in there. A barrel in there. Then they'll have access to it, and it doesn't look weird. Unless I put the barrel as the floor. Ooh, that would work even better. Especially if I had an axe on me. Alright. So let me do that like a so, that like a so. That up there, that up there, and turn that barrel sideways. So we get the plank floor. So that way they've got their workstations, it, it looks like a wooden floor. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, need more barrels. Doggone, I just came from there. I should have just taken a whole half stack. Alright, I need... Four more. Four more? Four more. <sighs> That's right. Gives that little guy time to grow up. I forget how long it takes a villager to grow up, though. I'm used to having the, the, the villager breeder right there, so we never have to really worry about that right away. Right, let me go grab four more barrels. Finish moving the uh, the village people over off stream. Anytime it comes to moving villagers around, there's a high risk that I'll lose my family friendly chat rating. And there was that one guy in the last season who met a very, very unfortunate demise in the nether. He, he wandered from the group. I can't just floating around there. All right, no, 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 focus, focus, focus. Oh, I, I, I just noticed a bit of glass missing. I wasn't sure what was up with that. All right, focus. And what am I gonna, what am I gonna use to block these guys in? Since I can't jump, I, I want it. I want it to be some sort of uh, counter-looking deal. Doggone it! There we go. Uh, I wanted to keep in. Th oh, although. Where Good. Just do like that. Except I think the light level in there. Well, let's uh, you know, what's the light level in there? Light level, light level. Uh, eight. That uh, that's just barely. Of course, that is with uh. It should be like that, and I can't remember if stairs change that equation or not. I'm 80% sure they do. There we go. Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't get these things on purpose to save my life. Alright, so 
so that will put that as nine, which means that that should be bright enough. I, I don't like should be though. Let me, let me go make a couple more lanterns and you know what, I'll just, when life gives you problems, throw more lanterns at it. Wait, no, I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, okay. I am liking the way that's turning out, though. Let me just uh, grab a stack of those and a stack of those. Now there's more lanterns than I said I needed, but more lanterns never go amiss. So, like a so, like a so. That's overkill on the power, I know. Overkill of what you speak. need the other bed anywhere in here for it to count for uh, for purposes of village making. There we go. There's a fourth bed. Alright, I hate that that's there like that, but things that I can do like this As that kid looks like he's getting ready to pop up. Uh, there we go. Oh, I forgot to block off the uh, block those off. That way, nobody accidentally goes up the water. Hi guys. Oh come on. Get over there, kid. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Or serious? Get over there. One of you? for the moment. Don't 
don't mind me guys just uh doing a slight a light bit of remodeling hey get out the way power will go that far and we'll go like that and then we'll go like that and surely that means that one of you minecart go and why do I feel like I should be worried about that uh, uh, you weren't the one I was looking for but I'll take you go on oh no 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 oh, you because <sighs> that's where the other minecart went <laughs> you guys <laughs> get over there oh wait that movie hasn't come out yet has it <laughs> that's due in later all right uh i want you right there for now can we turn this card around no fine fine I'll stop that rail just one bit further, just so that way that uh, they don't. All right. Now it's just a matter of let, uh, wait until the kid grows up. So I'm going to have to repeat this a few times. Uh, and then I'll get two of these guys in there, two in there, two in there, and two in there. Or do we just want the one guy? Nah, we got the space. We definitely want... Did you turn your card around? I didn't turn your card around. Hi. Hi, friend. Oh, that reminds me. I'm gonna have to... Oh. That's right. I'm gonna watch you around this way anyway. Because I need to. Oh, oh. Okay, so here's the problem. That's not the initial trade I want. Let me, uh. Somewhere in my notes, I've got a trading. What the? What they're likely to start? There we go. Fisherman. Um, oh, so I won't even know if they get the raw cod for emeralds trade until they're an apprentice. Huh. Because really, out of all their trades, that's that's the one I want. I well, that's the one I definitely want. Um, let's, uh, let's see, you know what, let me, uh, don't, I don't know if this one will work. Let's, there. Uh, do I have the desktop set up? There we go. I actually use the, ignore the background change, that's for, because I use this for something different. Um. So oh, over over on uh, various places, somebody put together uh, slice line put together this wonderful chart on the likely trades. I forget how many at each level they pick up. Uh, it's been a while since I looked into it, but if you look over here down at the fishermen, so they're going to get uh, two of these four trades to start off with. Uh, this is the novice. And I think it's two of the apprentice. So that means that I'm probably going to have to set up to to get these guys up to apprentice. Find out if they do the trade that I want. So what I might have to do is... I might have to go back and 
stop them here-ish. Set up a barrel. Yeah. And then trade with them until they become an apprentice. No, no, no. Other direction. Other direction. Before sending them on their way. There we go. So what I'll do is I'll wall off those areas. Actually, I could use a prismarine wall there too. That would tie in with the prismarine back there. Although, I like the quartz better. Just for kicks. doesn't have a wall. Huh. Okay. Just for kicks. Uh, where did he go? There we go. Would I be better off doing that? Or that? Should I do the upside down quartz stairs? Or should I do the prismarine wall? Kind of like the upside down quartz stairs a little bit better though. Although I don't know. The wall is a, a little cleaner. And it ties in the prismarine here with the prismarine there. Is there a dark prismarine wall? Do I even want to get into dark prismarine? I got no dark prismarine anywhere else in this decoration for the build. Oh, good. Uh, while I'm while I'm contemplating life choices, I can get these guys to uh, 14, 15, 16. Is that all you guys need? Because I remember it was something a lot lower than uh, than I thought. Matter of fact, sorry guys, but I need to steal both of these. How you do? I guess it is more than 16. Or is it 16 a piece? Maybe it was 16 a piece. Come on, you're standing right there. Pick them up. There we go. Do I need to sing some Barry Manilow? Oh, uh, the choices are over this way. I, I'm... So I'm going to get two of these guys in each of these four booths. The question is, do I do the prismarine wall here or the upside down stairs? I ignore the stone wall. I, I just put that up as a temporary thing. I'm leaning more towards the quartz because I have quartz all throughout this place. Um, I uh, Well, I could also do uh, upside down prismarine stairs too. Um... Uh, Let's, uh, let's get, uh, let's get a bunch of those while we're at it. And do I have any squid ink in here? I usually do. There we go. All right, let's, uh, go back and let's get, oh, because that's going to get turned into black dye and then... We can do this, and yeah. So I guess I got a couple other options too. I could also use dark prismarine stairs, although I've not used that anywhere else in this build, and that kind of bothers me that uh, I'd pick that as an option. Not the strangest thing I've done though. Or I could also do upside down prismarine.
at least the the prismarine here has the benefit of being used in a bunch of other places like the roof there and behind the water fixtures the quartz is all over the place uh, I could also turn these prismarine blocks into into stairs as well oh inventory management how do I hate thee That freed up a little bit of space. Yeah, you know, now that I think about it, I don't know that I like the wall at all. I think if I did the prismarine, I'd rather have the upside down stairs just to give it more of that counter feel. Although, that makes it look more open. There's no quartz wall, there's no dark prismarine wall. So if I am going to do a wall, it's going to be that, the stone, or something different, and there's no stone or gray anywhere. Any well, I mean, it's gray terracotta, but... So we got these guys here. Um, okay. Stuck with your profession, or... No, I never traded with you. Did you not realize that you don't have access to, uh, to anywhere? Or do you think you can path to those still? Because you should have lost... Oh, wait, no. You're not going to lose your profession until the morning. All right. I'll get to that in a minute. So do I go with the upside-down prismarine stairs? These guys here. These guys here. Or the upside down dark prismarine. I mean, I could always do the upside down prismarine brick. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the wall at all. I'm going to do one of the upside down stairs because uh, it makes it feel a little bit more like a trading counter. I just don't know which one. What do you think, Beach Duck? The prismarine, which will blend in with that. The prismarine brick, which will have a similar coloring, but uh, a different look and feel. Quartz, which is all over this place and kind of ties everything together a little bit. Or the dark prismarine, uh, which does... It's got enough of the colors that it... I don't know. That... that that feels the most jarring to me. That almost makes me want to take these back out of the running and put the uh, the prismarine wall back in. Hmm. Let me uh, grab another sip of coffee while we sit and ponder. So what do you think, guys? If we start with the one on the far left as number one, are we going with option one, two, three, or four? Or do I uh, throw that wall back into the mix too? Two or three? What about what about you, Beach Duck? You were the one asking what choices a minute ago. Or should I throw the wall back into the mix? What was a long time ago? The wall? I, I'm staring at the choices that we got right now. We got one, two, three, or four. Or I, I put the prismarine wall back into the mix. I, I think we can all agree that the dark prismarine is probably a no-go. Uh, that that just it's too it's too 
too different. So what about, what about, does that change any options? I kind of wish there was a quartz wall. I mean, here I am complaining about inventory management and going, but I could really use more blocks. They're, all, they're also about to add a bunch more blocks in the next update too. Like 802 varieties of copper. Hmm. Hmm. One, two, three, or four. Or are we still on question, uh, options two or three? And if it is still between options two or three, I'm probably going to go with the quartz just because that, that feels like it uh, it ties into the way the way we got things going a little bit better. Because we do have a lot of quartz in this design and it would help it feel a little bit more coherent. You think the quartz rest? Number three. Trying to check my assumptions because that that is really where I do want to go. But I'm also worried about a, a little too much sameness. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll go. All right, I'll go with the stairs. Hey, you! Why haven't you lost your job? All right. Yeah. Let's go with that. There we go. Alright, I need this guy to realize that he's lost his job. There's not another barrel he thinks he can path to, is there? No? Okay. Um... Right, that makes it feel a little less crowded. Let's get that out of the way for now. Nah, because it's not, uh, it's not work time. That's why he doesn't think he... That's why he thinks he still has a job. Gonna take a little while for that little guy to grow up. I don't think they're going to. I don't think they're going to give me another one until I free up one of the beds. Yeah, I think this is going to be a lot of hurry up and wait. I, that's probably going to happen off camera tomorrow morning. Is me trying to get these guys to to a trade that I can do a little bit quicker than that because uh, if we go back to let me find the button again um, uh, there we go there we go if we go back to our dock here uh, if I can get the fisherman to get the string trade as his first trade uh, we can unpack the wool into string. That's a data pack that we added on our server. That's a resource pack that we had. No, that's a custom recipe that we added on our server. And so I'll have more string than I could ever need to trade that. And then see if he gives me the, uh, the cod for emeralds trade. And then if he does, we'll just keep going from there. I'll hope for the salmon for emeralds. But we don't get a lot of salmon out of this farm unless you go at it with a looting sword. Um, and and that, that just depends on how you want to roll. Alright. We're almost there. Or do you really think you can get back at that? Alright. I'll be back to do with you in just a second. So... Whether you sit here AFK or you use a looting sword, there's always going to be COD generated. Like, we've tossed... I, I don't know how much COD automatically got disposed of that we could have been trading all this time. Uh, but that is a thing. Uh, yeah, we're still we're still getting a little bit of cook COD and raw COD. And, uh, there shouldn't be any prismarine shards getting in there at all. I don't... 
I, I shudder to think how that's happening. Uh, talk on it. Maybe it's time to call it a mission partially successful. <laughs> I forgot where the bone meal's coming from, but yeah, so you do get some salmon, but not a whole lot. And certainly not AFK. That came from the last time I came through with a uh, looting sword. And that was mostly because uh, I wanted a lot more of the uh, Prismarine Crystals. Which don't drop nearly as frequently. Or which drop a lot more frequently with a looting sword than with uh, a different setup. Yeah, I'm having... I'm struggling with complete thoughts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue milling around with these guys, play with the village people, and try to get, uh, let's see, we got four. My goal is two per, so I'm going to need two, four, six, eight. All right, so I'm going to need to get eight more villagers. I'm going to have to keep futzing with their trades. What was that? I'm not sure I want to know. Uh, I'll keep trying to figure out their trades and uh, get that to work. And then uh, and then try to get them so that way there's at least a COD trade there. In the meanwhile, the nice thing about being here is that while I'm, while I'm figuring that out, I'm filling up on all the Prismarine and whatnot. And, uh, and then away we go. So let me do this. Let me go ahead and switch to the credits. <laughs> Normally I intentionally block up my inventory so that way people can't uh, toss stuff in there while I'm doing my outro. But my inventory is so full of junk. I don't... I'd say I don't know that somebody could. But that would sound like a challenge. And I don't want to give that challenge. Because I don't want the end results of that challenge being successful. So this is where I'm going to say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, I do Coffee Craft every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I do bonus streams every now and again, like today. Uh, particularly if there's uh, some reason why I can't do the normal games revisited. Next Friday... If I can get some of the lagtasticness out of out of my battlefield install, I might try that again next Friday. If not, I will definitely do a coffee craft stream. So, and then after that, uh, the Friday after that, games revisited will resume its normal place on Fridays at six thirty, starting season seven with Trine. Uh, I was really hoping to do Kingdom Hearts now that the new PC port is out. But uh, just I, I I'm I'm not gonna be able to do that yet. After trying, I should be able to do Kingdom Hearts and then go from there. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing Kingdom. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing trying solo or if I can con some friends into joining because uh, trying does have an interesting multiplayer mechanic that could be absolutely awesome or absolutely frustrating depending on how things go. But uh, so not next Friday, but the Friday after I will start season seven playing Trying, the first one that came out in 2009, a little bit newer than my normal games revisited. But I mean, I've been meaning to play the whole thing all the way through. I've started it so many times. It's a beautiful platformer game uh, and, and the story is supposed to be good. At least what I've seen in the story is pretty good. I've heard some people get a little cranky about the ending, but uh, since I've not seen it, I don't know. <laughs> so stick with me just a little bit longer, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the title screen, and we're going to go raid Beast Lord, uh, or whoever's on. I hope Beast Lord's on. I think he is. Who's on? Yeah, Beast Lord's on. He's playing Monster Hunter, so we can, let's go keep him company with that. And uh, so stick around, have fun, and uh, 
I'll see you either Tuesday, Friday, or if I can get a bonus stream in during the week, then I'll see you then.